All right, folks, Mark here again. Just want to share uh, some mental strategies, right? How to strategize uh, within your mind before you strategize out in the physical world. So some mental strategies that I employ for my life that I'd like to share with you. And uh, this is a very, very quick one. It's a quick one. It's going to make it real short, real terse, real brief. And uh, this strategy I like to call the three P's, triple P's. And uh, the three P's, what those P's stand for, the first P is preemptive. The second is preventative. And the third is proactive. Three P's of uh, life. That's what I like to call them. And the the first P, preemptive, means that you don't wait for life to come to you. Don't wait for life to bring the fight to you. You get up and bring the fight to life. I'll say that again. The first P is preemptive. And what I mean by that is from a psychological standpoint, you do not wait for life to come and fight you. You have to bring the life, the, the fight to life. So you become preemptive. It's called a preemptive strike in a military term. So you have to uh, take the fight to life, right? This requires a lot of courage, uh, bravado, gumption, chutzpah, and bravery. You have to be able to overcome your, your fears, your doubts, most importantly, the most the most sabotaging or self-sabotaging uh, trait that we all carry around, most of us, not all, is, is doubt. So preemptively, you have to bring your confidence, uh, take the fight to life before life shows up and take the fight to you. Then, should that be the case, now you're on the defensive, right? If, if you wait for life to bring the fight to you, you become defensive. So you're on your heels, and you're trying to figure out how to, as opposed to being on the offense, preemptive strikes mean you are on the offense. You are on the offense. You are initiating the fight. So life is now being thrown off its balance. Life is backing up on its heels, so to speak. All right? The second P is, what was it? Uh, preemptive, preventative, right? Uh, don't wait for a problem don't, in other words, don't don't try to find the cure, right? Don't try to find the cure. Rather, don't become addicted to the problem, right? Prevention is better than cure. I'm sure some of you have heard that before. Don't don't become sick and then grapple with trying to fight find the cure. That's how the world is, right? That's how most people, most of us are. That's how the world operates. Don't get the illness and then try and then struggle to find the cure. Rather don't get sick. And I know, I know, I know, I already know the rebuttal to that is that that's idealistic and that's Pollyannish and that's uh, pie in the sky thinking. In the real world, people are going to get this, that, people are going to get hooked, people are going to become addicted to this, this, that, 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 that. And that's true. I'm not saying that that's not true. And I'm not being naivete. I'm not naive. Uh, People will become sick. People will become addicted. People will get into, I, I get into stuff that I have to fight my way out of. We all do. That's life. This is wisdom, right? That's life. And this is what, this is wisdom though. This is wisdom. The wisdom is as you age, as you become a man, as you become a, a woman, as you be, as you grow in consciousness and awareness, you learn that Although that is a, a true adage, that is life, that you're going to get caught up in things. That's life. Once you get caught up in things enough and you become a man, fortunate, if you're fortunate enough to get into manhood, you don't die, you don't end up in prison, you get caught up and you're able to get out. You're able to untangle and unweave the mess you've made and created for yourself. And you're able to get out. Wisdom is this. That situation, those situations that you were tangled up, right? That you was you were uh, intricately intricated and could not get out of, and you were in, and somehow was able to get out. They'll, those situations should have taught you the lesson, the, which is the wisdom that you can prevent things from happening, rather than trying to find the cure to escape those things that happen. So preventative prevention is better than the cure. 
you can prevent certain things from happening in your life. I think it's the, th the I did a video some time back where I talked about a, a thermostat, a thermostat and a thermometer. The thermostat tells you that the temperature, the thermometer controls the temperature. So, or is it the other way around? I, I, I forgot. But the point I'm making is this, be the thermometer, right? Control the temperature in the room, control the weather in your life. Don't just tell what the weather is, control it. So you can prevent things from happening in your life. The people who tell you that you can't are people who are sheep. They're sheep mentality. They don't think and they want to keep you in that sheep-like, herd-like mentality. They want to keep you dumbed down. So don't listen to them. Matter of fact, if there's people in your life telling you you can't prevent things and that these things is going to happen, you want to uh, quickly prevent them from being in your life. That's the number one thing you could prevent right there. That's the first step you could, you could take to uh, implement in this rule. If there's people who are telling you can't prevent certain things or they're, they're just reactionary, they wait for things to happen, then they react. And the number one thing technique to implement this technique right now is prevent yourself from having those people in your lives. You need to prevent them from being in your life, right? Preventative. Prevent them from being in your life. They shouldn't be in your life because those are people that's going to keep you stuck in the psychological mainframe of stupidity. You can actually prevent things from happening, right? Now, again, uh, if... In my 20s, there's certain things I could not have prevented. because I, I wasn't conscious. I wasn't aware, right? Uh, in my teens, certain things I could not have prevented. Why? Because I wasn't conscious. I wasn't aware. Even in my 30s, not conscious. And, but all, as you get older in age, you're supposed to grow in wisdom. You can prevent things from happening. God didn't leave us down here as complete robots that are idiots. And you know what I mean? We have consciousness and awareness, and we can prevent certain financial calamities, certain personal calamities, certain business calamities, you can prevent them, right? You have to think, okay? Uh, and, and the ones that you can't prevent, because again, there are some things that you just can't, right? There's some things that's just outside of your control. That's where prayer comes in and trusting in the higher power, which is God, right? So that's to uh, pre preventative uh, and uh, proactive, right? Proactive and preemptive is very similar, right? Because you have to be proactive, uh, which simply means you don't wait for things to come to you. You initiate things, right? Uh, so if you're proactive, you 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 take the, you show initiative, right? You take the initiative, right? You take the initiative. Again, you do not wait for things to happen. You go out and you make things happen. You create. Where there is no opportunity, you create an opportunity. If opportunity doesn't knock, you open the door and force force an opportunity. If, if there is, if there again, if there's no way, you make a way. You find a way. Uh, that's that's proactive. So when you're proactive, again, you're more. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to initiate. So you take the first step. That's the the third and final P. Uh, hopefully some of this information was helpful. Till next time, peace.